In this video, I'll show how to manually migrate a WordPress website to another hosting. Usually to migrate a WordPress site to another hosting or another domain, you can use a plugin like all-in-one WP migration. This plugin makes the process smoother. I have talked about this in the AWS Lightcell video. But if for some reason you need to migrate the site manually, then follow until the end of this video. Here I have this website on Amazon Lightcell and I'll move this to a different web server. This is the current hosting panel of the website. I need to download the files and the database. I'll go to the files option here. I need to download all the files and then I'll export the database. To download the files, I'll select all the files, I'll archive the files into a zip folder. I'll select add to archive, migrate and ok. Here in the files list, I can see the zip file, migrate.zip. This contains all the files of my website. Now I need to download this file. I'll select this option here and I'll click download. If you have a large website with lots of images and other media files, then you may need to use a FTP client like FileZilla to download the files. Since this is a pretty much smaller website, I am downloading the files on the browser. Now I need to extract the database. Here I'll select the databases option. I'll select the website WP Trial Zone. I'll log into PHP My Admin. Here I'll select export. I'll select this export option. The database is now downloaded. I have downloaded the database and the files of the website. Now I will move these files to another hosting. You may use a different web host so in your case the options can be little bit different. Under the databases option you will see the same PHP my admin option and if you find the files option on your web host you will see the similar files. I am going to restore the backup to hostgator. I have selected hostgator just to demonstrate the process. I am not promoting this web host. You can select any web host of your choice. Here it wants me to enter my domain. I'll enter my domain wptrialzone.com. I'll click on next. I am signing up for a new account on hostgator to demonstrate the process. I'll quickly complete the sign up process here. Now I'm into my hostgator account and I can see the options here. Manage web hosting, dedicated IPs, name servers, change domain. Here I'll select go to cPanel. I need to log on to the cPanel. I'll find the files option here. Here I see file manager. I'll open the file manager. Here I see public underscore HTML folder. I need to upload all the files into this folder. I'll double click to open the folder and these are some default files. I'll select all the files here and I'll delete all the files. Now I will upload the downloaded zip file. I'll select the upload option. Here I'll select the file and I'll select the migrate zip file. I'll open it and you can see the process. If you have a larger website, you need to use a FTP file manager to upload the files here. The file has been uploaded. Now I'll close this window. I'll reload this and I can see the migrate.zip file here. I need to unzip the files here. I'll select it. I'll select extract and I'll want to extract it under public underscore HTML. Extract files. These are all the files I had here on the previous host. Now I can delete this migrate.zip file here, but I'll delete it later. If I face some issues, then I can again unzip this migrate.zip file. Now we need to import the database. For that, first I'll select MySQL databases. It doesn't have any databases, so I'll create a new database. WP Trial Zone as the database name. The database name will also contain this, what I see before this. I'll select create database, go back, and here I need to create a database user, user or anything. I need to create a password for the database user, password again, create and create user. I'll go back. I have a database and the database user. Now I need to add the user to the database. So I'll select this user and this database, I'll click add. I'll provide all the privileges. I'll click on make changes. We are done with the database creation process. What I did, I created a database, I added the user to the database, so this user can access this database. I'll log on to phpMyAdmin, here I see the name of the database. I'll select it, currently this database has no tables, I'll click on this import option, I'll select the file from my computer and I will select the import option. You see here, import has been successfully finished, 
99 queries executed and I see all the tables from the existing database. We are ready with the files and we are ready with the database. Now we need to point the domain to this web host. Here I have the options name servers. On your web host the name servers option can be in a different place. So I'll select the name servers option here. I need to add these name servers to my domain. This is my domain WP trial zone and I can see the name servers here. So I'll copy the first name server here and I'll paste it here. I'll copy the second one and I'll paste it here and I'll save the name servers. The DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. One more step I forgot that I need to update the WP config file. Here you see in the files I have WP config. This is the configuration file of the WordPress website. I'll right click on the file and I'll select edit. I'll click on edit. Here I see the DB name. So I need to replace with the new database name we just created. I'll paste the new database name here and I need to paste the new database username as well. I'll paste the username here and I need to replace the password with the database user password we just created. This is the database user password. I'll click on save changes. I added the name servers one minute back. It can take up to 48 hours to update the name server. To check if the name servers have been updated on this website dnschecker.org, I'll paste my domain, I'll select the NS option here, I'll search. You can see the name servers have been updated. Now if I reload the website and the website is loading here and I'm assuming the website is loading from the new web host. To check it, I can go to the previous web host and the WP config file. Here I'll add an extra character after the database name. So if it still loads from the world web host, it will have some issues. So I'll save this. Now I'll try to reload it. So it was loading from the previous web host. I connected to a different internet service and here I see the website loads from the new web host. And currently it doesn't have the SSL certificate installed. Now I can see the website is loading with the SSL certificate. I have asked the support guy to install the SSL certificate on the new web host and they installed it. On their web host it was a little complicated to install the SSL certificate by myself so I asked them to install the SSL certificate. On most of the web hosts you can easily install the SSL certificate with one click. Now here on the previous web host I can delete the files, I can delete the database or I can can cancel the plan. It will not affect anything because we have moved everything to this new web host. On the new web host, if I go to file manager, under public underscore html folder, I see this migrate.zip file. Now I can delete this file safely. Thank you for watching. Leave your feedback and questions in the comment section below. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.